That's his first 50 point game? It is. 56 points and the first one by a spur <coughs> since Tony Parker had 55 He's hot 10 to years ago, 2008. The Frenchman? And so the Spurs three point percentage, 84%, 16 out of 19. The highest in a game in NBA history when a team makes a minimum of 15. Oh, wow. Westbrook with the 24 dimes. Uh, tied for the most in a triple double wow. in NBA history. Wow. And uh, you saw LaMarcus Aldridge uh, with the 56 point game. And. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did oh, you go? Where did they get this stuff? I love that. Baby, you're strong, ain't it? Alan Lee. Bam, bam. 71 points by David Robinson in 1994. Yes, when he that night he was going for the scoring title. Yeah. It, That's the most most by a Spurs since the then. Clippers point shave till they can beat me. I remember that game. No, but, that wasn't you. That was a he. No, it was me. Me and him was going going. To, I was, it was he was up by a point something. Oh, okay. And Bill Finch let him get 71. Let he him. Didn't let him. Yep. He did. He let him. I he, watched the game. 25 and 18 now are the San Antonio Spurs. How surprising to you? Not at all. Uh, I, I just, overall, you just figured out when it was going to happen. Uh, I didn't realize until maybe a week ago, two weeks ago, that there were that, there were eight new Spurs this year. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Uh, so that was a slow start because they, it didn't look like a Spurs brand <coughs> of basketball. It's kind of like when you watch the New England Patriots in football. There's a certain style of play that's already indicative and that you're going you're gonna to watch. I mean, you, you didn't see that early. So now you're starting to see that the open guy gets the basketball. They actually understand where guys like the ball. So I'm not surprised at all. I was surprised they're not better. I thought they would start faster. Yeah, but they have eight new players. Well, it don't matter. They got the you two. You got eight new players. It don't matter. They got the two guys. You give me two all-stars. Are they all-stars this year? DeMar DeRozan and LaMarc Salter? I'd have to look at the list. Uh, it's going to be tough. I mean, just on the on, on of merit, them, sure. they, when you look at the Spurs record and you look at why they're there, would you say, without looking at the list, that, well, yeah, I, these well, guys are all-stars? Uh, not, not without looking at the list. I, would I mean, because you got guys. You don't think, all, you are got, they having all-star seasons? Uh, they're playing good, but I'm saying, like, I don't want to uh, screw Tobias Harris, who deserves yeah. to be an all-star. Uh, he deserves it. Only LeBron for the Lakers. I mean, you have to look at the list. The, the key's going to be how many guys you take from the Denver Nuggets. Right. Uh, right we'll get into that later, yeah. too, when we take a look at the uh, Ernie, they would at, have the, start, at the returns. If they would have the started a little faster, the answer to your question would be yes. Uh, I agree, Chuck. You give me two all-stars and a guy like Patty Mills who, who can score like he scored the Spurs. Paul Gasol? Yeah, Paul Gasol. Yeah, Spurs I mean, should be better. However, you can never count the system out. So they're starting to play well now. So coming yeah. before all-star, yeah. after all-star, well, you know, they're definitely going to be in the mix. Gasol was hurt earlier yep. in the year. And, you know, eight, I don't care. I, I, the eight new players have to play a significant role. The Spurs don't play five guys, six guys. They play multiple guys. And, you know, guys like last year who were there, slow-mo, and got me years before, like, that just knew and understood the system. You know, that, that's a valuable piece of information that they couldn't pass on. And so those guys are coming from places that weren't winning situations a lot of times, and this is their first opportunity to be in it, first time where every possession matters, and that pressure of understanding what that means and what we're looking for, it changes. No, and you got a guy like Bellinelli who's back again with the San Antonio Spurs who's familiar with the system, but you're seeing guys grow up, guys like Derek White, guys like Bryn Forbes. Never played. Well, yeah, because, I mean, because, never been a point, never played the point, well, and he's playing Shaq the point here. something very interesting. You know, Ernie, the Spurs to me have the best coaching staff in the NBA. And what I mean by that is, Shaq says they just get guys off the street. And when guys lead the Spurs, they don't do good. True. Uh, there's guys who've taken more money to lead the Spurs and you never hear from them again. Ernie, I noticed something in the playoffs about probably three, four, or five years ago when the Spurs were playing. I saw them play the Miami Heat in the finals and a couple other teams in the finals. Man, their coaches, guys who don't play, they're not out there just before the game getting up jump shots. They have a structured environment. They have you working on stuff that you're going to need in the game. That's why they have the best coaching staff. They don't go out there. A lot, most teams just have a bunch of guys go out there, break a sweat, get some jump shots. Their coaching staff, guys who are role players and who are not going to play killer minutes, 
they're out there working on actual stuff before the game. That's why guys play well for the Spurs. They've won six out of seven, 10 out of 13, 14 out of 18, and they win in double overtime in this one, 154-147. Ernie Kenny's behind the 56 of Kenny had his neck. Marcus Aldridge. He had his personal masseuse. <laughs> There's Jermaine. Jermaine. Uh, he, Kenny's working on Kenny's neck in the back. The versatile Jermaine. <laughs> yeah. Jermaine's training slash uh, feed. rehab class rehab class feed. Yeah. Oh, okay, Chuck. Yeah, yeah. He, he was just just jealous. Yeah, what's that, Chuck? Oh, that's, oh, that's on CBS. I go my man Clark Kellogg. Yeah. He always always talk about Jermaine. You're doing the same thing. Hey, hey, when we come back, I got them all in line.